This is Craig Stone with Baruch's Center for Teaching and Learning, and I'm going to show you how to log in, find your class, and upload a video or other media file on Vocat. The first thing you should do is go to baruch.vocat.io and sign in with your Baruch username and password. There's been some confusion about this, so I'll walk you through some of the common login issues. The login for Vocat is your Baruch username and password. This is different than your CUNY first login or your email address. The format is typically first initial dot last name. For example, Ferris Bueller would be F dot Bueller. You may have a number at the end of that username, or if you have an older account, it may be your first initial and last initial, followed by a series of six numbers. If you don't know your Baruch account information, you can look up your username and the default password format at baruch.cuny.edu slash bctc. When you go to the bctc webpage, you'll see the Baruch username link at the top of the quick links under student resources. Clicking on that will bring you to a page with information about your default password format, as well as a link that says, click here to look it up to look up your Baruch username. When you click on that, you can fill out some information and it will provide you with the username if you don't know it. If that username and password combination still don't work, you can attempt to reset your password by going to mypassword.baruch.cuny.edu and using the reset my password link. If you get an error on the my password site that says that you haven't set up a password reset profile, you'll need to contact the BCTC help desk at helpdesk at baruch.cuny.edu. Only BCTC can reset the password for your Baruch username. It's important that as soon as you gain access to your Baruch account, you go back to mypassword.baruch.cuny.edu and set up a password profile so that you can reset your password on your own if you run into this issue in the future. Once you've logged in, you'll go to what's called the student dashboard that lists your courses down the main part of the page. You can also access your courses by clicking the courses drop-down menu at the top of the page. To enter a course, just click on the course title, or if you've been assigned to review other students' work, you can click on the peer work or group work links. These will only show up if your professor has opened up these options. When you click into the course, you'll see a list of projects. If a video has already been uploaded to a project, you'll see a thumbnail of that video available to click on for viewing. If you haven't uploaded a project, you'll be prompted to add media with an add media button here. If your professor has uploaded something for you to view, such as assignment instructions or a sample video, that will show up underneath the project media header here. Below that is the submission media section, which is where you'll upload a video. You can either click the add media to submission link or the Manage Media button to get into the Media Manager. From there, you can drag and drop a file directly from the desktop into this square. You can select a file from your computer using the file selector, or you can paste a Vimeo or YouTube URL to embed it into Vocat. If you're using Vimeo or YouTube, it's important to know that it's not actually hosting it on Vocat. So if you remove it from either of those services, or if you change the privacy settings to make it fully private, it will disappear from Vocat. So you need to make sure you leave those files up at least until you get a grade or probably until the end of the semester. In YouTube, I recommend using the unlisted setting, which means that it doesn't show up in Google or YouTube search results, but it can still show up on Vocat. For videos uploaded directly to Vocat, the only people who can see them are you and your professor and any members of your group if it's a group project. If the assignment calls for students to review each other's videos, that can be set up by your professor in the project settings, but there's no way to make videos available publicly beyond your class. I'm going to use the file selector to find my video to upload. While the status bar is going across, it's uploading from your computer to Vocat. It's really important while this is going on not to close the tab or close the browser until you get to this screen where it allows you to name the file. At this point, it's already been uploaded to Vocat and it's only processing, so the work from your computer is done. 
You can name the file. If you don't name it, it will just call it something like video media. Uh, and then once you're done with that, you'll see this processing screen and you can close the tab if you want and come back later. If you leave it open, eventually it will show a thumbnail letting you know that the video is done. But if I try to click on it to view it right now, it will tell me that it's still being processed and isn't yet visible. If you're recording on your phone or a tablet, you also have the option of uploading directly from that device's web browser. Just open the browser app, such as Chrome or Safari, and go to baruch.vocat.io like you would on your computer and follow the same instructions. Then when you click the File Add button like we did to upload this video, it will prompt you to select a file from your device's media library. Once the processing icon is replaced by the thumbnail image, you'll know that you can click the video to view it. If you've left the screen, you'll just have to come back and check later. You won't receive any sort of email notification letting you know that processing is complete. When you click the thumbnail icon, it will take you to the video to play it. And at any point while the video is playing, you can click in this annotation field to type in a note to yourself, and it will go over to the right-hand side with a timestamp on it. If your professor is giving you feedback on your video, that will also show up in this field here and be highlighted as the video plays. So that's how to log in and upload to Bocat. A couple technical notes before closing. First, I highly recommend testing your recording before you record your final presentation. So just record maybe 10 or 15 seconds of video and make sure the video is clear and that you can hear yourself clearly and understandably. Also, Vocat accepts most video, audio, and image files, so you shouldn't need to worry about reformatting videos or only using certain devices. However, we've noticed that if file sizes get over, say, a gig or 1.5 gigs, that people run into more uploading issues just because of the time it takes to upload the video, especially if your internet connection is not reliable. Uh, so if your device records in 4K Ultra HD by default, I recommend going into the settings before you record and reducing the resolution so the file size isn't quite so large. If you run into that issue, let us know. If you run into any other issues, you can email vocat support at vocat at baruch.cuny.edu. Thank you.